I'm Maryam Keita in the Newswatch Newsroom. Coming up next, a deadly shooting in Jefferson Park. I'm Mary Amakata in Pacoima, where drive-by shooting leaves a family devastated. That story coming up next. A new study could change the way teenagers watch television. According to the Pediatric Society Child Health Study, teenagers who watch at least 10 hours of TV a week are more likely to get pregnant than teens who watch less. I'm Mary Amakata in Hollywood with Kenny Latimer celebrating a very special birthday. Those stories and more next on Newswatch. Good evening, I'm Mariama Keita in the Newswatch Newsroom. Our top story tonight, the search for a drive-by killer in Pacoima. Abraham Guerrero died right in front of the home he grew up in. I talked to his family about the murder and the investigation. This flower and candle memorial marks the scene of a murder. It is where 22-year-old Abraham Guerrero was shot to death Sunday morning. Guerrero's sister, Jasmine Negretti, says the family is devastated. I just want to know who did this to him. I want them to catch the guys that did this to him because he didn't deserve this. He didn't deserve to die so young. He was a really good person. The shooting happened around 2 o'clock Sunday morning in the 12,500 block of Corrente Street. Guerrero was right outside his family's home when police say three men in a dark colored sedan opened fire. Detectives say at this point they don't know why the shooting happened. Our detectives think the, the suspects are gang members, but we know that the victim is not. Uh, he was just happened to hang out in front of his house and talking to his friend. Guerrero and his friend had just left their neighbor's house, and as they were crossing the street to go home, the suspects pulled up and pointed a rifle at them. There was a struggle over the weapon, and it went off. Guerrero was struck once in the chest and died right here in his friend's arms. They weren't even out here for two minutes, and then the car passed. Rosa Negretti is Guerrero's younger sister. She says he wanted to be a police officer so he could eventually take care of his parents. It's just not fair that some stupid people just feel like coming and, you know, shooting up the place or finding something to do because they don't have anything to do. I just don't think it's fair because my brother never deserved this. He, he never did anything wrong. He didn't do anything. If you can help police with this crime, call detectives at 1-877-247-LAPD. In other news, police are investigating a deadly standoff in Jefferson Park. It started when police tried to serve an arrest warrant at this house. The suspect fired several shots at police who returned fire. The suspect died at the scene. And finally tonight, movie and singing star Tyrese Gibson celebrated his 30th birthday in style. I talk with Gibson and other celebrities about the career that started with a can of Coca-Cola. Coca His career began with a simple Coca-Cola commercial. Now, 15 years later, Tyrese Gibson is the full-blown Hollywood star. And the stars came out to Tinseltown to help him celebrate his 30th birthday. What does this birthday celebration mean to you? You know what? The first 15 years of my life was a real blessing because it, it created the character in me as far as my hunger and my focus and me just wanting to reach for more. Held at Ritzy Boulevard 3 on Sunset in Hollywood, the party drew a wide range of stars. From comedians to actors to singers and models, the guest list reflects Gibson's diverse career. With roles in movies such as Transformers and Death Race, comedian Lunell calls him the perfect star at the perfect age. Well, I just remember when I turned 30 and, you know, the world is, is literally yours. You are not as dumb as you were in your 20s and you still have a lot to learn. 30s are hot age. I like to keep my men around in the 30s, you know. But there's more to Tyrese than acting, singing, modeling. He wants to add another title to his name. I want to write a book. Um, I want to write a book. I'm, I'm really inspired to uh, tell my story and give a lot of people inspiration and hope out there that, that, that wants to make something out of nothing. The party itself was closed to cameras, but the red carpet was a show in itself. Spike Channel model Vita Guerra says Gibson is a hero to her. I mean, he started off modeling, you know, and he, he ventured off to do all those things. And, and, and it's wonderful because people always have this, um, this thing that you, you could only do one thing. And it's, it's, it's kind of like, like, why can't you do it all? That's going to do it for tonight. Thank you for watching Newswatch LA. I'm Mariama Keita. You have a good night.